Hey guys, welcome to this guitar lesson. In this video, we're gonna explore one of my favorite guitar solos from David Gilmour. The song is from the legendary band Pink Floyd and it's called Hey You. The song was released in 1979 and it was written by Roger Waters. I believe that Gilmour recorded this song using his black strat. David is known for using big delays and reverbs with a big muff and uh, his high watt amps to get that haunting uh, guitar tone. So let's break down the lick and see how you can play it. The song is in the key of E minor and we're gonna use this position of the minor scale. You can use the E minor pentatonic as well, which is a simplified version. That's probably something you already know and it's easy to follow along. Let me play you the lick really fast and then break it down. Alright, let's start by uh, playing the 15th fret on the B string and then bending that full uh, a full step and then playing at the same time the 12th fret on the high E string. Essentially, what we're doing there is bending uh, the D note to uh, reach the E note and then with our index finger we play the E note. So essentially we're creating a unison of uh, these two notes. So you're gonna start by creating that, te that tension in a way. And then you're gonna release the tension by creating that unison between these two notes. Um, let's move on to the next uh, lick. Essentially what you're playing there is uh, this lick. So you're playing uh, twice this. This is triplets and that means that uh, when you're doing an alternate picking because it's triplets it's three notes. Uh, essentially on the, on the first you go down uh, then up, then down, then the next uh, time you play this, it's gonna be reversed, so it's gonna be up, down, up. So remember to keep following the uh, up and down picking pattern for this one. And then uh, we're gonna finish that lick uh, bending the 15th fret on the B string with a downstroke. And then we're gonna use uh, one of the more really classic blues licks. Essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna play this lick. Essentially we're gonna bend a full bend on the 14th fret on the G string. Then with our index finger we're gonna create a, a small bar in a way on the B and E strings on the 12th fret. Try not to uh, overlap the notes with each other. And then bend the 15th fret on the B, full bend. Uh, Gilmour is uh, playing around with his bends uh, on, on the last note so you can play around with that as well but this is what I wanted to show you for, for this lesson and this is what we're gonna use to explore and, and play something different as well. Now let me show you a way that you can borrow this lick and use it in a different setting. As this is the theme of this series I'm gonna play a blues jump track as a background music and I'm gonna attempt to play the lick and changing small things each time. The idea behind this is to show you how you can take one idea and how you can be creative about it and turn it into something totally different but familiar at the same time. As always um, what what we're gonna do and what we're uh, what I'm trying to show you in this uh, series is how you can learn a lick and how you can use it in your own way in a way learn the the word if that makes sense and trying to create your own sentences so what I'm gonna try to do now is um, show you a way that I like to blend these licks in my playing and think outside of the box in a way in terms of uh, I'm learning a new lick a new phrase and then uh, I'm trying to break it down in a way I'm trying to change it slightly so I can create something on my own and the reason why I'm, I have this approach in my playing is because I don't like to remember and memorize million licks once I have the lick library what I can do is I can manipulate these licks I can change the target notes the the the, the rhythm of the the lick itself and create something more complex than the the actual lick that I've learned and this is the goal for this series is to help you understand how you can be creative with these licks instead of just learning them as they are. So let me play you a blues loop I've created. I will leave this loop at the end of this video so you can jam a bit and put what we're learning now into practice. But essentially what I will do is I will try not only to combine the lick with other licks I know, but try to uh, change it a bit and try to make it uh, unique and, and um, fun. So it will sound something like that.
Alright guys, I hope this was helpful and you got something out of it. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and share it with your guitarist friends. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below and make sure to download the tab from the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.